Hello and welcome to How Time Flies, the video newsletter from the High Plains Western Heritage Center here in Spearfish, South Dakota for the month of June 2019. I'm Brian Leslie, as always, joined by Carlos Covell, the Executive Director here at the High Plains Western Heritage Center. And we're going to talk a little bit about what's ahead in June and kind of recap our May. Yes, and it was a busy month again. But spring is almost here, don't you think? I think so, <laughs> even after the snow that we had in May. Oh my goodness, what a month! What an ending to that month. We're, didn't we have about 14 inches, I think, up here? But we, we managed did. to blaze a trail and have a bus that very night. That's crazy. Colette was determined to come and we made a way for it. And they did. And yeah. Dave came down from Cheyenne Crossing. <laughs> never disappoints, <laughs> does he? Boy, he never does. And I'll tell you someone else that doesn't disappoint, mm -hmm. and that's whenever the Potter family takes the stage and they kicked yeah. off our month in style with a wonderful evening yeah, of music. Yeah, that's right. We had the, their first ever gospel concert with a great group of acoustical musicians with them, and they hope to come back again in August. We packed didn't have the greatest house. weather. No, right? but yeah, it was so. still a packed house, even yeah. on a kind of a drizzly yeah. night. Yes. Then the buses kind of started right after that. They did. Uh, the Road Scholars kicked us off the very first Monday in May. The following week we picked up Colette, then the next week Diamond Tours, and now we are in full swing. Um, then as May went along, what else did we have last month? Well, we had, uh, we enjoyed a visit from the Rotary. They came here and we gave them a guided tour through the building, and they had a dinner with Cheyenne Crossing as well. Then we went out on the road. We went to visit the Kiwanis and the United Methodist Ladies Group. Wow. Got to tell them about upcoming events, and it's amazing to me still how many have never been here. Yeah. You know, so hopefully we keep drumming, beating that yeah. drum. And I mean, the more people that come here that say they've never been here, you know you're on the right track. That's right, exactly. Because <laughs> they're coming here. <laughs> well, we're going to kick off the month of June, hopefully with some summer-like weather. Yes. But also, we have a couple of authors coming in in June. Okay, so we have Kent Nurburn coming. He wrote a book called Neither Wolf Nor Dog. And he will be in the area with many other book writers. Um, that'll be up in Deadwood for a conference, and he'll be here Saturday, June 8th at 1.30 p.m. That's sponsored and hosted by the South Dakota Humanities Council, so we're honored to be able to host yeah. him, have a great presentation and book signing for him that day. Yep. Followed by another mm -hmm. author at the Paul end of the Hedren. month, Paul Hedron, correct, um, with his book on the Battle of the Rosebud the prelude to the Battle of Little Bighorn. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is that part of our speaker series? Is that what you call our speaker no, series? Is uh, something different? It, well, different. it's in line with that, mm -hmm. but it was just great opportunities. That since we were doing that, we Dr. Wolf had approached us about collaborating with oh, Case nice. Library once again with when Paul Hedron was going to be coming through the area. And then I think the Humanities Council sees what we're doing up here and thought we'd be a good spot to host their guest as well. Awesome. That's yeah. cool. We'll be looking at for a couple of things in the newsletter. One was uh, in regards to the cattle trails. Oh yes, we have a wonderful new display, some wonderful, beautiful furniture that was owned by the Driscoll family. It came up from Austin, Texas on the cattle trail, presumably. We have a desk and a couple of chairs, a beautiful painting by Laura Driscoll from in 1902. Mm. It's an original piece of art, gorgeous piece. So there'll be more detail about that whole story in our written portion of our newsletter. And tell us about the marker that was placed mm -hmm. outside. Oh yes, that's right. That was a wonderful night. Uh, you know, Chris Lister had earned his Eagle Scout badge working with the Cattle Trail Pro Project, which of course is a nationwide effort to mark the cattle trails. And he, so he received a beautiful plaque commemorating um, his efforts and um, we placed that along he and his dad came out and made a uh, beautiful presentation to our cattle trail committee so it's at our in our front lawn between the two cattle trail markers so come on out and see that yeah because he worked hard with his uh, boy scout troop 17 a few years ago yeah they did a lot of work for that great great project yeah. also uh, a new um, new face around the high plains this summer you'll be seeing oh, danny we'll yes. do a little profile of him i think also in the newsletter that's right you'll learn a little more about his story but he comes to us from california but he has a lot of ties to this area he has uh, aunts and uncles and other family in newell in the central part of the state jacobson is some of the last names there um, many people have already seen his smiling face but he is yeah. this uh, he always smiles <laughs> he does <laughs> never, never trust smiling. somebody who smiles all the time right 
right? So <laughs> you said you could trust Danny. <laughs> yeah, um, Danny will be a junior at Black Hill State, and he is working for us as a conservator intern. So it's a first for us as well, yeah. and so we're enjoying giving him an opportunity to learn what, what, while working on some sure. of our display cases. And if you come out to the center in the month of June, um, you'll find that the the new Arikara display of artifacts from Fort Sully mm -hmm. is being put out in the main hall in one of our Native American showcases, and you'll see more of it also in the early pioneer room. So I know that Don mm -hmm. Peterson has been busy working on that, and yes. Marie's been making some signage for that, and yes. it's really kind of a neat, neat display. It really is beautiful. Twelve incredible cases, and it's still not complete. There are still some more items yet to come, so oh, stay yes. tuned. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, stay tuned also in July when open to the public will be our Cowboy Supper Show once again coming back. Yes, we hope to have another second uh, successful year. The first four, well, we begin July 9th and um, we end on August 1st and we'll have a special guest Cody Landstrom with us on the fourth, the last four shows. That He's a Gordy's magician, invited yes, yeah. yeah. And a talented musician a as talented well. Musician. And pretty funny from what I hear now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Nelly, that is a comedian. So yeah. other so, than the magic, he's just like Gordy, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So no. don't forget, bring your friends, your family, spread the word, help us make that a great success yeah. this year. With Gordy and Dallas and the spirit of the American cowboy. Tim will still be our good home homemade Dutch oven cooking for the Cowboy Supper Show. So be sure to book your tickets early for the Cowboy Supper Show, Spirit of the American Cowboy and the Cowboy Chuck Wagon Dinner. You can book those tickets online if you go to High Plains West or westernheritagecenter.com. Um, also check us out on Facebook, you'll find information there. So yes. what else have we got for, for June? Uh, that's about it. Yeah, just yeah, hopefully some good weather. Hopefully some good weather and hopefully we'll see all of you folks out here as well. So thanks for your support. And thank you for watching as uh, we conclude another edition of How Time Flies for June 2019. Thank you, Brian. Yep. Thank you, Carla. <laughs>